<sighs> Hello, welcome back. My name is Vasco, and well, sorry, but today is just going to be this well vlog. So that's because I have needed to take the medications, and as I told you yesterday, whenever I use them, don't expect much. I had coronation. It's basically uh, what? What? What's going on? Why am I in the wrong city now? Yeah, that can easily happen if you forget to go to leave your train. Yeah, fun story. I actually once go to a summer camp. Missed the spot I was going to drop off and suddenly found myself, oh shit, I'm about 200 kilometers off. Well, shit, this was before I got my driver's license, so, hmm, bloody hell, I need to get a bus for three hours to get there. That was fun. And one of the seminars I missed was how to be on time. I really, I love it, especially when it's slapstick. And it's directed for me. Yay! Remember, don't slap the sticks. They have not deserved it. What have they done? Nothing, probably. Anyway, as you can easily tell, I'm a bit in nerd energetic, but then again, I have been sleeping now for about 8 hours in the middle of the day. That's because medications do that. Make me very sleepy and tired and... Yeah, basically drug is all hell and I don't like that especially when I'm trying to do something as in editing or producing something because I'm a control freak that's normal when you get to write because you don't want to show any tech because if you got any one thing is the vocal tech the other thing is the physical ones physical ones is more understandable because if I suddenly just punch someone right in the face, without my knowledge or the ability to stop it, which has happened in the past, that is terrifying. Story time, my first date ended with one broken nose and three broken ribs. Yeah, that was because, okay, I'm a bit shy here, I have no idea what to do at the cinema. Okay, remain calm, remain calm, remain calm. Ow, my hand hurts. Oh, fucking hell, what did I do? Looked over and... Wait, up there, the bleeding is all hell. Yeah, fuck, did you... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, before I even could... Give myself another thought, I had an elbow right into my ribs. So that was fun. Just smashed in there, she went, raised herself up and just went off. I just sort of. Jesus, asthmatic, and now you've broken some ribs. Great. Sorry. Dude, right next to me. Just... Dude, why didn't you go after? What am I supposed to say in that situation? situation. One, I'm 14. First date ever. And I just broke in my date's nose. So, and the worst part, I have no recollection of actually wanting or basically doing it because it's a reflex. I have no idea. I had no control over it. So, I just sat there and watched the rest of the movie. Wally, recommended. Well, a great movie. I still like it to this day. Also like having a bit of... Maybe a percentage control over my... Well, thoughts. Because I know that I'm derailing as old hell, but then again... What else should I derail to or from? I don't know. You tell me. Ugh, Jesus. And uh, now you see why I maybe have a problem with my neck. That's a good tech, because I can't stop this when it's beginning unless I actually hold myself together and I've tried that and made my neck hurt quite a bit because if a tick goes one way and you have to hold it, the emotion is still there. 
the power is still there in moving. So that's not that good. Uh, two opposing forces hit with great power or stopping the great first force. That was enough for my back to say, nope, I need a vacation. Hand me the drinks and I will be fine in a week. Asshole, I didn't say you could leave, you idiot. I'm hyper as hell. I can be focused at times. And sometimes I'm just all over the place. Looking at every single square feet of the place. And I have really no idea how I end up in certain places. You know that you can lose your track of thought. Easy. Yeah, that's something that we all experienced. Good. Very good. You over there, you have experience. Are you brain there or something? Oops, yes. Uh, next. Anyway, uh, I can lose myself in my fault so severe that once I was just going to drive for, let's say, milk or anything, just go to the store. And before I knew it, I have been driven for about, what was it, four or five hours? Middle of the mountains in the area, just. Okay, here we are. And then, just on the dialect. Hello! Wait, what? Eh? Wait. I, you're not from my area, are you? And uh, no, that's because you're right now in the middle of the country. You're not on the west anymore. Oh, fuck. Oops. So, I have been driving... Um, that's a lot of kilometers. About, I think... At that point, it's 360 or 3, 320 to 360 kilometers. That's because true. speed limits are something we have to obey heavily in this country, as you always have to. But they're just ridiculously slow. <clears throat> anyway, I just realized then. Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, damn it, I'm in the middle of the high mountains of the country. Shit. Called up my mother because this was about two weeks after I got my driver's license and this is then five years ago. Yeah. Damn. Actually today is the day I've been having my license for five years. Score! <laughs> anyway, uh, moving back to that situation. Calling her up. Hello. Um, I was going for milk. Uh, I have got my milk. Where are you? I am in the store. Which store? Well, it's not the soup store. Uh, it's just a normal convenience store with everything we need. Okay, what happened? Well, I just lost my train of thought again, and so I drove about 300 kilometers for milk. Wait. You drove 300 kilometers for milk? Yeah. And also they have really good cheese up here. Either you have ADHD or ADD or anything very severe at that point. I did. I got diagnosed with that in the beginning of my 20s. Or you have got to learn how to slow down when you're driving. Huh. Yeah, that's a plan. And two weeks after you get your driver's license, you feel like, I can drive everywhere! And then suddenly you realize, oh fuck, I've driven over half the distance of the country on that line. Shit. How do I get back? <laughs> Same route. Yeah. I just... It, you know when you're driving, it happens that everything just go autopilot. That's just happened too. And back again, you have to focus on the entire route. That's fun. And at that time, a 13-year-old car. And this was September, as I just realized. Uh, we have yet to change to winter tires. Yeah, we changed this country. We need to. 
and you are in the middle of the mountains in Norway. And the temperature can be quite big, especially when you're up about a thousand meters. So, before I realized it, I was driving back 320 ish kilometers on summer tires with two weeks per wheel alone, little to no zero experience of winter driving, and terrified as all hell. That was fun. I just used double the time too. Uh, if I used about three to four hours to a place, I used six to eight back. Just because when you are sentient about it, just no, 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 easy, easy, easy. Well, the other times when you thought everything was perfect, just this is nothing. I'll just try normally, normally, normally. Oh shit! How am I got this far? And so, well, it's a fun story at the very least. And because the air condition in my car was broken, the milk was still cold when I got home. That's a win for the car. And also, I might start with some when it comes to cold drink and such. I want to see if I can try a physics experiment. Hmm. What happens if you leave... Oh, Jesus. If you leave, oh, Jesus, in the fridge, yes. If you can find his body, toss him in the fridge, and let's have some interesting physics about that situation. No. Uh, what happens if you throw a can of energy drink, like Monster, into the fridge. Will it either explode because of well pressure? Will it bulge? Will nothing happen? Hmm. Let's see if I can find out. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's it for today because I have been all over the place. Not with a broom, obviously, just with my head again. Because medications, yay, feel like I'm drunk. Whee! Anyway, uh, we're talking about things here and there, as you may have realized. And so, I bid you farewell. If you enjoyed this vlog, well, run into that like button, and I see you all in the next well, vlog episode, whatever. And if there's any topic you want me to talk about, just fire away in the comments. Just tap them. I'll see you all in next. Yeah, time we'll see. Bye!